fluticasone, trade name Flovent. This is a locally acting anti-inflammatory therapeutic class, uh, anti-asthmatic, anti-inflammatory steroid, and pharmacologic class corticosteroid. What you're going to see this medication given for is for prophylactic asthma treatment. On the floor and when you're working with patients, what you're going to hear it referred to as is Flovent, okay? The reason we give Flovent is because, like mentioned here, it's, it's a corticosteroid. So what it does, it actually decreases inflammation and prevents inflammation within our, our trachea, which allows the patient with asthma to be able to breathe by preventing that uh, allergic reaction where the throat starts to swell. This allows the airway to remain open and for the patient to be able to bring in air uh, without any difficulty. One thing I want you guys to remember here is that whenever you have a patient who is taking corticosteroids as well as bronchodilators, we always give the bronchodilator first. Now, when I was first learning this, for whatever reason, this was confusing to me. I had a hard time remembering which one to give first. But you always give the bronchodilator first. So think about this. If if we have a patient we need to give a bronchodilator to and a corticosteroid who's an asthma patient or whatever, the reason we give the bronchodilator first is because we want to open that airway to allow the corticosteroid to get in. If we don't give that bronchodilator first, we're not going to get the full treatment of the corticosteroid. So always give bronchodilator first, open the airway, and then allow the patient to breathe and, and allow them to get the corticosteroid and get the full treatment of that corticosteroid. So some things to keep in mind with Flovent is we want to use really cautiously in patients with untreated infections and suppressed immune system function. So any patient that might have a autoimmune disorder or suppressed immune function, we really want to be careful because these corticosteroids are going to decrease our immune response. We also need to understand that corticosteroids lead to decreased bone density, so we want to monitor our patient and make sure uh, for fractures, watch for any, any sorts of bone trauma or anything like that. We want to obviously instruct our patient to stop smoking. If they are smoking, if they have asthma, we need to let them know this is a massive irritant uh, and they really need to stop smoking. They need to try to avoid any irritants that they can. A common question you're going to get is, is being able to identify irritants in an asthmatic patient's environment and instructing them, if possible, to try to avoid those irritants. Corticosteroids or Flovent can also cause headaches, insomnia, bronchospasm, nasal congestion, and adrenal suppression. So with the bronchospasm, what we really need to let our patients know is that they don't want to overtake this medication. They need to take the, pa the medication as prescribed to avoid any sort of bronchospasm. Now working in a hospital, most hospitals are going to have respiratory therapists who provide all the corticosteroids, all the bronchodilators, all the breathing treatments. So you won't necessarily be the one administering this, but it's important for you to know when the respiratory therapists come what medications are going to be giving, why they're giving them, and what your patient's reaction is to that medication. As the nurse, you're still responsible for the patient's total care, and you're really the coordinator of care. So you don't really want the respiratory therapist uh, coming and you not being aware of what's going on. So your job is really to to be vigilant of that. I can get really uh, obsessive with my patients and things like that, and I really don't want anyone entering in the room and doing anything without me knowing, just so that I know that when I go in there, that I'm not going to give something that's going to counteract what they just did or interact with what they just did. So really important that you understand what's going on with your patient at all times, who's going in the room, what they're giving, um, not to micromanage, but simply to know what's really going on with your patient and what their reactions are. So this medication is fluticasone or Flovent. It's a corticosteroid for in inhalation, and it, it's an anti-asthmatic, which helps as a locally acting anti-inflammatory. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.